Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Hassi. Um, if be sure that to subscribe our channel by just clicking on the subscribe button you see on your screen. Today I'm going to cover uh, chapter 17, seedless vascular plants, chapter 18, um, gymnosperms, and chapter 19, angiosperms. Okay, let's get started. So first, uh, seedless vascular plants. So we know that invasion of the land, uh, plants actually move uh, to the lands with the bryophytes, and now they actually getting more and more complex uh, in the seedless vascular plants. These are still uh, seedless plants, but they are vascular. So we see some of them are from our uh, from their fossil records. Um, so the oldest plants actually 420 million years old Cooksonia, uh, which is basically we know it from the fossil record. Okay, so seedless vascular plants, uh, they have major innovations, cuticles, stomata, differentiation of leaves and stems, and vas vascularization very importantly. Okay. Um, so um, the steel types, we see protosteels like very simple solid interior steel, um, siphonous steel like in the ferns, the central pit, and then used steel we see in die cut and angels verbs. Uh, leaf gaps and uh, leaf, um, we talked about already microfields and megafields we've seen in the leaf chapters. So the more complex plants and megafields like ferns, seeds, plants. Um, so, there are um, homospores and heterospores uh, species here. Um, so again, early plants we see from their uh, fossil records like Rhinia, the Cooksonia, and some Zoosterophyllium. Um, so there are four uh, divisions here, um, club mosses, horsetails, whisk ferns, and ferns under the uh, seedless vascular plants. These are also called ferns and um, fernalize. Um, Silafida whisk ferns, uh, basically uh, these are the simplest living vascular plants. Um, there are um, six living species under this. Uh, Silodum is the most well-known one. Um, and there is Silodum uh, life cycle. Lycophida, which is basically club mosses, another group here. Uh, Sporangia, uh, you can see here sporophylls and leaves. Um, club mosses, they have protosteel. Um, and Selaginella is again one of those. Um, horsetails, Sphenophyta, uh, which is a, a, another div, uh, division here, uh, which is Equisidophyta, horsetails. Um, they have rhizome roots. There are 15 species under this group. Pterophyta, biggest group here, which is uh, ferns. Uh, there are 12,000 species, mostly um, leafy, some actually tree ferns, and most homospores. Typical, very unique um, gametophyte they have. They have sores under the uh, plants here. Um, gametophyte look like a heart shape, you know, gametophyte. Um, so next group is gymnosperms. Uh, basically gymnosperms, a very important group, chapter 18. They have um, four division, conifers, cycads, ginkgo, and gynodophyta. These are seed plants. So. That means uh, from now on, we see evolution of seed. Um, seed actually a big discovery here because one of the most important innovation, it can actually uh, produce only one megaspore. The uh, um, nut release under the female gametophyte has fully developed within it. Um, and actually it's, it has protective seed coat. Um, so gymnosperms, um, let's take a look at some of the examples from the gymnosperms. Ginkgo fida, a unique um, phylum uh, with one living species, Ginkgo biloba, which is a deciduous tree. It dioecious, it loses its uh, leaves, has male and female um, Ginkgo biloba. You see here a female Ginkgo biloba. Um, Psychodophida, another group, which is in nine genera, 100 species, pretty old uh, group of plants, slow growing, uh, 15 meters tall, maybe it can, takes years resemble palms, that's why um, some people mix them up with the palms. Um, Ginodophida, uh, actually from the distance, they might look like flowers. Ginodophida, actually, ephetra is a good example, which is used in um, ephetrine, drug ephetrine. They serve in this species. And the biggest group here is Coniferophida, which is conifers, 600 species of conifers, pines, cypress, firs, um, and um, use, are some examples. They have cones, 
it's very distinct clones actually to identify them. Um, so each of them is very unique and the leaf um, needle-like leaves. Um, they, uh, they have pollen grains, uh, which basically look like a Mickey Mouse shape uh, wings here. And, and they have seeds, fine life cycle again, uh, we see here. And uh, angiosperms, which is our uh, biggest group, which is uh, basically there are 250,000 species of angiosperms. This is 88% of the uh, old plant species. Um, which is the most typical uh, thing we see in angiosperm is flower, of course, which is made of SPSCs, simple, pale, stamen, and carpal. Carpal is the female structure, which is made of stigma style and ovary, and ovule. Ovary becomes fruit, ovule becomes uh, seeds later. Smallest angiosperm plants known is duckweed, you see here, an aquatic plant, largest simple flower, uh, we, uh, is known as Rafflesia arnoldi, which is this one here. Um, and there are two uh, two classes under uh, gymnos, uh, angiosperms, which are monocots and dicots. Again, one phylum, Magnolia fida, 250 species, 165,000 is dicots, and uh, um, 65 to 7,000 is monocot. Our position actually can be um, basically. Um, Below, everything could be below ovary, ovary is in a superior position like hypogenous, or everything is above ovary, ovary is in the lower part like epigenous we see in apple. Flower could be complete like male and female in the same, um, same flower, or uh, I'm sorry, it has everything in the same flower, SPSC, or incomplete one is missing. Perfect is, has both male and female, imperfect missing one. Monoecious is male and female on the same tree, but in separate places like pumpkin, cucumber, dioecious, they are on the separate organisms, a sec separate trees. Here is a monoecious uh, plant like oak. We can see the male uh, flowers and female flowers with acorns. Pollination is transferring the pollen from the male flower anther to the uh, female part of the stigma. Fertilization takes place under them. Self Pollination can be self or cross using vectors like wind, water, insect, birds, and mammals. Um, pollens are the, the microgametophytes. They are basically, um, they, they, have, they get uh, nutrition from tabidum cells in microsporocytes and they develop into micro, uh, pollen grains, microgametophytes. Um, embryo sac is the megagametophyte, which is made of seven cells and eight um, nucleus. And this is angiosperm life cycle and a seed, very importantly, um, uh, they have a, a, a very well developed seeds with the seed coat, embryo and endosperm. And this concludes our uh, chapters on gymnosperm, angiosperms and on um, seedless vascular plants. See you in the next uh, video.